Canon registered two cameras in February 2024, DS-126922 and ID-0179. Then on March the 29th, Canon registered another camera, DS-126928. And yesterday, Canon registered ID-0174. And all this information comes to us once again by our friend in China. And that's from the Weibo account, E8M8888. So let's first recap for those of you who can't keep track of all these numbers. And yes, it is getting to be a little bit much. We're getting all these camera registrations from Canon hinting at something big coming. And yet nothing's been released yet. So starting off back on February the 4th, 2024, we had DS126922. And that's believed to be the Canon EOS R5 Mark II. And this has been also validated by Canon rumors. But what about 0179? We still aren't sure what this one could be. Now, Canon rumors has said that they got it from a couple of sources and they said, be careful here, this isn't confirmed, but it could be a cinema version of the R5, the R5C Mark II, which would be really nice. Now that camera was released two years ago. And it's a very exciting camera. And when it came out, people asked me, are you going to get this camera? And I said, well, definitely not because I have the R5. It doesn't make sense to spend another $6,000 Canadian just to get the R5C when I have most of those capabilities in the R5 and the extra abilities that the R5C has. Well, from a business point of view, it really doesn't add that much extra value to me. So a spend of $6,000 is a spend, not an investment, because it's not giving me any extra value. So it could be a cinema version of the R5. Both cameras were registered at the same time, so the R5C is possible. Canon could do something really radical and strange, like do a cinema version of the R1. But it doesn't make sense to release a cinema version of the R1 with the R5 Mark II and not the R1. And according to Canon rumors, the R5C Mark II is going to be announced sometime between May the 21st and May the 23rd with a development announcement of some sort, of some sort, for the R1. And it's going to be announced alongside the 35mm f1.4. However, um, as I said in the intro, the R1 was also registered as DS126928, and that was on March the 29th which leaves us with ID 0174. 0174, well, this is tough because what other camera could it be? As I've said in the comments many times before, and I'm gonna say it here on air, Canon's in much need of a refresh through their entire line. I mean, just look at everything from the C70, the C100, C200, C300, C500, C700, do you see? <laughs> It's a, I, I, I know it's a bad joke. You know, I don't care. I'm, I'm in a good mood and you're not going to change that. So we can see that there's a lot of C100 cinema cameras. Wow, it's, I'm beginning to, I'm going to keep going with this. I'm having fun. Uh, delusions of a, uh, never mind. Anyhow, so it could be many different cameras. And my friend, um, James Jackson, Jackson Films, put out a video a while ago saying that there's many cameras that he thinks it could be. And I'm not going to take away his thunder. You can check out that video, but I mean, the, the, the whole cinema line is in lack of a refresh. And with Nikon purchasing red, I think that might have started, well, a small little fire under Canon's um, posterior to do something with the cinema line. So we have two cinema cameras and two stills hybrid cameras. No, Mark, that, that's too radical of a concept. There's no way that's going to happen. You know what Mark just told me off camera? Two cinema cameras, two stills hybrid cameras. The Canon EOS R5 C, sorry, the Canon EOS R5 Mark II and a cinema version, the R5 C Mark II being announced, as well as the R1 and a cinema version of the R1, the R1C. Ooh, doesn't that send shivers down your back? I, I, think, I think you're way off, Mark. There's been nothing to indicate that. It's pure conjecture, and I'm not going to say that on this channel. I'm not. That was Mark that said that. It's hard to really speculate as to what that 174 could be, or even 179. But we do have a few sources telling us one of them could be an R5C Mark II. 
but uh, outside of that, there's just the, the cinema line on Canon's side is in such a need of a complete refresh that it could be any number of cameras. I mean, if you go back to what, 2020 and 2021, Canon Rumors was talking about several cinema cameras that were due to be released. On September the 23rd, 2021, Canon leaked information from credible sources that we were supposed to receive two cinema cameras the Canon Cinema EOS C300S and C500S. Both of these 8K cinema cameras doing 8K up to 60 frames per second, 4K up to 120 with a BSI stacked DGO sensor, 16 stops of dynamic range, 17 plus stops of dynamic range on the C500, as well as a C700DR with up to 120, sorry, 240 frames per second in fast mode, 20 plus stops of dynamic range, which matches what we see currently in the red V-Raptor X and XL. 20 plus stops or 20 stops of dynamic range. That's in a specific mode. I forgot the name of the mode, but otherwise you're getting 17 stops of dynamic range. So those cameras, while they were leaked back in 2021, seem very plausible here today. It makes sense. It's what they need to do. And shortly after that, Canon Rumors doubled down saying that we were supposed to be getting with a 6K global shutter sensor and an 8K standard rolling shutter sensor. So there's been an awful lot of rumors, an awful lot of information coming out, and it's been absolutely crickets, dead noise when it comes to, oh, what's this? Nope, absolutely, sorry, I thought I got confirmation. Let me just check here. I heard some sort of ping. You probably didn't hear it. Nope, nothing there. But one thing I can tell you, one thing I can tell you for sure is all this noise about the Canon EOS R5 Mark II is real. Something is happening. We are going to be getting an announcement of the R5C pretty soon, sometime in May. Canon Rumor says the 21st to the 23rd. And one thing I can tell you is um, a source of mine who said, who, I can't say anything right now. What I can tell you though is next week, start paying attention. I don't think we're gonna have anything Monday, but Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, nothing official from Canon, but um, you can expect some information to come out. I can't tell you what it is. I can't tell you where you're gonna hear it, but just pay attention because things are gonna start getting real very soon. And I think if you've been waiting for the R5C Mark II, you can start to sort of let your guard down and relax a little bit. While we don't know the specifications, we might start to know them next week. And that's really exciting. Really exciting to see a refresh of a camera that essentially not only leaked frog the competition, but pretty well trashed that cripple hammer. Remember when we used to get 4K with a 1.6 times crop? When we used to get 4K with a contrast detect autofocus system? And yes, that's in the EOS R. Remember that at 4K 30? Well, the R5 gave us 8K raw uncropped with IBIS and autofocus, along with 4K 120, 20 frames per second, 20 frames per second raw, uh, a really good ISO range, CF Express Type B cars to handle that extra speed. All this leapfrogging the competition and Canon's own cameras, just kind of obliterating the cripple, cripple hammer and sending it off to somebody else. So um, I can only imagine even a modest or solid update over the R5, is gonna give us an incredible camera. However, the R5, four years out, is still one of the best cameras out there. I think there's only the Nikon Z8 and Z9 right now can beat it in terms of video performance and in terms of stills capabilities. Again, you're looking at the Nikon Z8 and Z9. Even Sony doesn't have a camera that can do 8K RAW, not in a stills hybrid camera. And in terms of 20 frames per second, well, Sony can't do that either yet. So. If we look at Panasonic, same sort of thing. In this day and age, in 2024, four years after the R5 was announced, it's still a very solid camera. So if you are interested in purchasing the Mark I instead of waiting for the Mark II, there's a bunch of incredible deals on right now. 29, sorry, it was $29.99. It's now $31.99 at Adorama and B&H. And Adorama is throwing in a 128 gigabyte CF Express Type B card, as well as a card reader. They're from SanDisk. And um, if you're not interested in Canon, you're tired of Canon, you wanna to go to that Nikon Z8 that I was just talking about, it's also on sale $300 off. And for Sony customers, if you've been waiting a long time for some deals, the A7S III, $300 off. The A7 IV, 
$200 off the A7R5, $400 off, lots of really incredible deals. And if you're interested in purchasing these from Adorama, b &H, or Amazon.com, then please use my affiliate links down below in the description, these guys right here, because it really, really does help this channel grow more than you can imagine. And by clicking on those links, you don't have to put in any coupon codes or anything. It takes you directly to the page. And I do get a 2 to 12% commission back. And that really helps fund this channel. It funds it far more than the ads do. And that's what's allowed me to purchase, if you can believe it, with only just 51,000 subscribers. Lenses like the uh, 100 to 500, 200 to 800, 50 millimeter f1.2 on the Canon EOS R5, and a powerful computer to edit these, those videos and get them out to you very quickly because I'm about to go I hate this. I hate shopping for cars. It's just a very unpleasant experience. But I'll let you know. We got a lead on one at uh, a dealership in Newmarket. And I'll let you know how that goes in a behind the scenes in another video. But I've got to be really quick with this one. So that's why this one might not be as smooth and have as, many, have as much B-roll in it is because I've got to get all this done within two hours because I've got to get out. Once you get out looking at cars, it, it can take the whole day. So if this dealership, it doesn't pan out, I'm going to be looking at a whole bunch more. But a big thank you to you for watching, participating in this channel. Thank you for using my affiliate links. And somebody just purchased the RF 200 to 800 millimeter. You're going to love the lens. I hope you get it soon. It's, I, it's frustrating. I know people who bought it on November the 2nd and they still don't have it. So hopefully, hopefully um, as we start to move further into the second quarter, you'll get your 200 to 800 um, but yeah, it, it's a really fun lens. I really do enjoy it. And um, thank you to everybody for commenting, liking, subscribing, following me on X. Um, you don't have to do it. Follow me on X. You don't have to subscribe. But it, the one thing it does for you is what you get notification when new videos come out. And with X, I'm always putting out, always putting out information that I won't put out in a video. So there's that. Anyhow, just have yourself a great day. I hope this channel provides you with some enjoyment and entertainment. And as always, I do my best to cover the camera market and to give it to you unvarnished, although sometimes a little bit excited. But that's it for now. Have yourself a great day, and we'll see you again soon.